Hi everyone, my name is Denise. I'm an environmental educator here at the Edinburgh Scenic Wetlands and World Birding Center. And for this video, we are going to learn about earthworms. Earthworms live in the earth's soil and their bodies are made of rings called segments. Each segment is surrounded by muscles that help the earthworm move. Earthworms don't have eyes, meaning they are blind, but they can still sense light with the special cells on their body. Earthworms live in the ground so anytime they sense light, they burrow deeper into the soil. So you're probably wondering, how do they breathe if they live in the ground? Well, earthworms don't breathe like we do. They absorb oxygen through their moist skin. They also help break down dead material and fertilize soil. They eat the soil, digest it, and then poop it out. Its casting has a lot of nutrients that are good for plants. Earthworms are also an important food source for many animals. Now we are going to hunt for some worms. We are going to need a trowel or spoon and a bucket or cup full of soil. Worms love shaded areas and wet soil. So make sure to look for your earthworms in those types of places. Go ahead and dig into the ground to look for your worms. Make sure to have an adult help you dig. When you find your worms, gently grab it and then place it into your bucket or cup full of soil. To get a better look of your worm, place it on a piece of paper and observe it. Go ahead and observe your worm and ask yourself these questions. How does the earthworm move? What color is the worm? What does its skin look like? What does it feel like? And what does it do? When you are done observing your worm, place it back where you found it. If you want to keep your worms to observe them, go ahead and make a worm farm. You will need a one pint clear plastic bottle gravel, sand, soil, and make sure that the soil you add is moist, but not completely wet. It should have the same texture as a sponge. You will also need pieces of vegetables and fruits, scissors, tape, and black paper. First, cut the top off of your plastic bottle. Make sure an adult does this step. Then, Place your layer of gravel, and then add your layer of sand. Now add your soil. And now you can add your vegetable or fruit scraps. This will be the worm's food. And now you can place your worm. And now wrap your plastic bottle with black construction paper. This will mimic the dark underground where the worms live. After a day or so, take off your black construction paper and check on your worms. When you are done observing your worms, place them back where you found them. Now that we are done observing our worms, let's make an earthworm craft. First, we are going to need some mud, paint, and a plastic worm or piece of yarn. Dip your plastic worm or piece of yarn into your mud and paint. Then drag it along a piece of paper. See how it leaves wiggly lines on the paper? That represents the tunnels that worms leave underground. Have fun making your own worm art. Now that you know more about earthworms, you can go ahead and make a delicious treat that is inspired by them. If you want the recipe, go ahead and take a look at our description box below. Bye everyone and thank you for watching.